Wait, wait, is this, is this too inappropriate? <laughs> <clears throat> Drink too much, then text my ex. Is that inappropriate? Bot designer just to flex. Is that inappropriate? No cap, I'm just getting checks. Is that inappropriate? What's the most inappropriate thing you've done that you're willing to admit on camera? It's probably the time that I, with the, and then, but then, honestly, but then it got worse, because then I, Um, it's one thing, but that's it, probably. On today's episode of Inappropriate Humor. How do you kill a retard? How? Give him a knife. <laughs> Wait, it's my first time. Put it back in. We're gonna play a little game. Okay. I'm gonna list off some of my lyrics from the song, and you just tell me if you've done that or not. Okay, let's do it, yeah. That's Because the, the question that's is, is that game. inappropriate? Drink too much and text my ex. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> no cap, I'm just getting checks. Yes. All day. All day. James Her is ballin'. Oh, I wish. Not yet, Bill we, Gates. I'm coming for you. We faking it till we make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've stolen my best friend's car to go get Taco Bell. That's inappropriate. That should have been a lyric, honestly. Wait, wait, is this, is this too inappropriate? <laughs> <clears throat> Drink too much, then text my ex. Is that inappropriate? Bot designer just to flex. Is that inappropriate? No cap, I'm just getting checks. Is that inappropriate? Today's episode of Angela Bakes, I'm going to teach you how to take your candy cane cutter and turn it into an inappropriate cookie for your neighbors. So first we're gonna put the two ends together and seal them up and fatten it up a little bit. And then you take the hooks of your candy cane and squish them together like so. And you've created a new shape. You don't even have to go buy a new cookie cutter. Don't say nothing, just watch. Somebody untie the knot in this guy's cord. Why don't you just shut up? Hey, I'm real scared there, Kirby. What are you gonna do, suck me to death? <laughs> Bruh. Hey, Mom. What? What's the difference between a hooker and a drug dealer? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> a hooker, a a hooker can, can wash the crack and resell it. <laughs> Too inappropriate? <laughs> <clears throat> Drink too much, then text my ex. Is that inappropriate? Not designer, just a flex. Is that inappropriate? No cap, I'm just getting checks. Is that inappropriate? I said certified free. Seven days a week. Wet ass pussy. Morning, I have a question. Oh, oh yeah, Dad, what is it? Oh, I was just curious. Do you know what the rap is? Um, I actually don't know. Alan, stop lying. Tell me what the WAP is. Dad, for real. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Alan, tell me now, or you're going to a private school. Okay, fine. It stands for Winner's Academic Program. Wow, that is going to be very useful. I'm proud you're in it, morning. Phew. My mom cannot say congratulations, okay? I told her I got a job doing voices on the series Adventure Time. Uh, and she's like, that's great, honey. I hope that ends up working out for you. I'm like, it just did end up working out for me when I got the job. How gods assume that we react when you send us a dick pic? Oh shit, I need to hook up with this guy. What's he, what are you doing? And how we really react to it. <laughs> Look at this wiener. Quite a few times. 50 times? More. 100 times? More. 200 times? More. 500 times? Probably. Most inappropriate Batman comics. So there's a comic in which Batman is on a mission alongside Robin and Batgirl. Robin and Batgirl are off separately and they are in a compressed air vent. Because they're in a compressed air vent, Robin inappropriately got a boner and brushed it up against Batgirl. 
after Batman released him from the airbent, airbent, Robin had to embarrassingly hide his boner with his cape. This is literally one of the most embarrassing moments in comics history and I cannot believe the DC writers allowed this to actually end up in the final comic. On a lot of my videos, I've actually gotten genuine questions of people asking which words are offensive and are slurs to Aboriginal people. So I thought I would address that in this video. First and foremost, Abo is a slur. It is not an Aussie way to shorten Aboriginal like servo or ambo. It is not. It is a slur. Do not use it. Terms like half cast, quarter cast and questions about percentages are also inappropriate and those terms are slurs. The term Aborigine is outdated and I would say offensive in most circumstances. I know some elders and some old fellas still use it and that is their choice and if Aboriginal people would like to refer to themselves as Aborigine, that is also their choice. But as a non-Aboriginal person, from your point of view, it is a slur and you should not use it. That being said, some terms that you can use for us are Aboriginal peoples, First Nations, Indigenous peoples, or you can actually go a step further and find out which people you're actually talking about and refer to people by their specific tribe slash clan names. I want to be the first thing you touch in the morning and the last thing you taste at night. Mom, is that inappropriate? Getting kicked out of school for throwing food at my teacher? Wait, what? It was kindergarten. Oh. <laughs> Dad, is that inappropriate? Well, at age 13, I went streaking on a dare at a sleepover. What? <laughs> Do y'all remember when we were like 12 or some shit? Like literal children running around the playground talking about, oh, what's your, what's your porn star name? It's your first pet and the street you live on. Mine was Sammy Greenacres. What's yours? Crazy inappropriate things my doctors and nurses have thought it's okay to say to me because I'm a young mom. Well, look at that. There's a heartbeat. Is this good news? Oh, you're married? Is it because of the baby? I'm sorry, you're just so young. All right, honey, and do you feel safe at home? Are you sure? You know, we can help you. Oh, you're sure? Okay. And do you plan on keeping the baby? Are you sure? You know that you have lots of options and you've got your whole life ahead of you. Are you sure this is the right time in your life to take on such a big responsibility? 